Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm James and today I'm going to share something with you. Uh, I had a subscriber, Dwayne from Florida, contacted me a little while ago and asked me, said he had a set of plans laying around from a plane that he never built and he offered them to me and offered to send them to me, which he did. And I really appreciate that. So I thought what I would do here is I would open them up and take a look at them with you and share with you what I got here. All right, let's see what we got. I'm gonna be careful, I don't wanna cut them. All right. Yeah, so Dwayne, from the few um, conversations or correspondences I had with him, he's a longtime RC hobbyist, builder, and such, has lots of planes, built lots of planes. And this was a set that he had uh, lying around, and he thought he would send it over to me. So let me see what I got here. Oh, cool. It's like he sent me a couple pictures. Hey, look at that's the Piper. That's the Piper Tri-Pacer, I think. That's cool. And let me see here. Oh, so so this is what the kit is. It's an, um, where these plans are for the Excalibur. Caliber, I should say, not Caliper, Caliber. And this is from Balsa USA. So Balsa USA, I don't know a whole heck of a lot about this plane and, or about the kit. I know that it is an older, it's an older, a kit that's been around for quite some time and it's sort of you can still purchase this plane after on their website this kit on their website and it is one of these sort of vintage models that's been around for many 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 years and people are still building it and like I said you can still get it but he just sent me the plans so let me take a look at these let me move this stuff out of the way so here are the instructions and kind of see back in the old days they didn't give you a lot to work with. Yeah, don't forget to balance it. Okay, all right, so let me set this aside and we'll take a look at the plans themselves. Also USA, Excalibur. All right, so it's one plan sheet. Ooh, pretty big. Let me go ahead and move my camera a little bit so we can see the entire set. All right, well, I'm standing on a stool so I can get a whole shot of the plans themselves. It's a pretty big plan sheet. Looks like it's a three by about five maybe size plan sheet. Or And yeah, so what I'll do is I'll kind of look at it from up here, but then I'll get a little bit closer because you're not going to be able to see any of the details from way up here. But yeah, so my understanding from this kit is that it's very similar to the Balsa USA smoothie, which I built a little while ago and demolished. And in fact, the, from what I'm reading in some of the forms is the wing is actually the same wing. And the fuselage is, is different, but I guess it's pretty similar. Of course, this plane has a, a tricycle landing gear compared to the smoothie, which was a tail dragger and some other features. And I think probably the most unique thing about it is that it has this tail section. It has a double uh, rudder, as you can see, sort of looking, you know, kind of think about a, um, you know, like a B-25 bomber. It's got that double rudder, and the rudders actually aren't func don't function. They're just there to probably stabilize it. Uh, and but you, but I've seen that some people actually do um, get rudder control by putting the servo in the tail section. But essentially, the way this this is built is you have ailerons, you have your elevator, and that's how you control the plane. And then of course you can steer it around the ground with the front landing gear, and that. And so, and this is again, it's a 40 size engine, I believe. So let me go ahead and get down off this stool before I fall off of here and break my neck and get a little closer um, details on the plans. So like I said, this, this wing, yeah, it looks very similar. Probably the same wing as the smoothie. It has a central aileron location. And, you know, on the smoothie, I put the ailerons over here in, the, in the, each wing. And you could do it with this one, obviously, if you wanted to. It shows the rear or the main landing gear blocks back here. Of course, our ailerons. And yeah, so there's, yeah, very similar. Some leading edge sheeting up here. 
and it is a, I don't know if there's how much of a dihedral is in this, it may not have any dihedral, but, so there's the, there is the wing. Let's move over to the fuselage, and there are some notes on here, I guess these are probably maybe Dwayne's notes when he was going to build it, but yeah, so what this kit came with it, it came with a, it came with a canopy that sits up on top here, of course this is a low wing construction, and it also came with these ABS kind of uh, uh, cheeks, if you will, or cowls that you would attach on the um, front here to kind of simulate the engine workings and such. And here's the here's the spinner. It does look a lot kind of kind of comes down to a different nose than what the than what the smoothie had. So you know it is different. It's not the it's, obviously it's not the same same plane, but it's similar. So got a quarter inch ply here. Looks like it attaches, yeah, attaches with a wing bolt down here. And then we move back down here to the tail section, nothing much to see there. Then the profile of the, of the fuselage looks pretty cool. So yeah, here's a block up here that you can take off to access the engine compartment right here. It's got some plywood doublers. The wing attaches with a dowel. Then of course we have a tricycle landing gear and this would attach to your uh, servo. Normally you would have this if you didn't have this setup back here. And even if you did, I guess if you modified it, you'd have your front landing gear uh, connected with your rudder servo so that they would work together so you can steer the plane on the ground. And then moving toward the back. So there's a little profile here back in this section. Oh, look, at it comes off. Interesting. So it looks like the whole... Looks like this entire piece must come off to access because here is the dowel that goes in here and then you have this little bolt that attaches it here. So it looks like the entire upper part of the front part of the fuselage would come off for access to all the parts. So that's pretty cool. And then moving down here to the back section again. So this is the most unique part and again part it reminds me of um, the B-25 bomber with the dual rudders. So here's looking at the stabilizer, the horizontal stabilizer with the dual rudders on, on either side at the tips. So you have the, the one single elevator going across and which I guess is right here. And then there are some notes here. I'm not sure if uh, Dwayne was thinking about putting, looks like he may have been thinking about putting a servo to control the rudders also. So yeah, I guess you could put a servo, maybe a small servo here if you wanted to have rudders on it. Um, you could put a small servo back here in the tail section and then have control using the rudder, the rudders also. So that's an option. So yeah, so again, you know, this has been around, oh, here we go, a uh, 52 inch wingspan and a 40 to 50 size class engine. So this plan looks like it's a pretty, probably the original kind of plans. I know on the, um, on the smoothie, it was the original plans also, but they had updated the whole kit to kind of some laser cutting and such. So I'm sure that's what they did on this one. So I'll put some pictures. I'm, I've already been, I'll put some pictures showing the Excalibur. Cal I keep calling it Caliper. It's Caliber, sorry. And just so you can kind of see what we're talking about here. So let's take a quick look at the instructions. And this is very uh, typical of older, older style kits especially things like if you ever built like a royal kit or those Murataka kits and things, they just give you, they just give you a couple sheets, no pictures. So I'm sure if you purchase the, the newer version of this kit from Balsa USA, I, I can almost guarantee you they probably have an updated uh, instruction manual, but it just gives you, I'm not going to read it all out obviously, but it, it gives you a couple paragraphs here for the fuselage, then it moves to the tail section, and then it's got some wing instructions. And that's about it. That's all you get. So you got this stuff and you got the plans and then you're on your own. All right. So there's sort of the, the plan and the instructions. And I was honest with Dwayne. You know, I really appreciate him sending, sending me these plans. I don't know um, when I'll get to building this, if I will build it. And of course, I would have to cut all the pieces um, from the plans themselves, which I think is possible. So one thing I wanted to mention again in thinking about this is that you can go down to these different websites. Like I mentioned, the big one that I like a lot is the uh, Outer Zone, which is out of the UK. They post a lot of plans for, for free that you can download and then print out and build planes from. 
And you're going to get, you know, depending on what kind of build you're going to get, the type of plane you're going to build, it's going to be relatively straightforward. Others are going to be a little bit more difficult if you have to start fabricating things like cows and canopies and such. This one looks like it's relatively straightforward. Um, it would take some time and some thinking to kind of get all the stuff together for it. You know, one thing that's good is that the wing has, it doesn't have a tapered wing. So you just need one profile, for example, for the airfoil here. So you could build your ribs from, from just this profile itself. Again, this is, this is a, a symmetrical airfoil. So you, you could build your wing from just this profile and then figure out, you know, what kind of uh, stock you would need to construct the rest of it. And it has this triangular stock. And you can buy all this stuff um, from places like Balsa USA. They sell, they sell wood. Um, Midwest sells wood. There's a lot of sources for balsa that you can find um, wood from. So you just have to kind of go around and start making a list of the different items you need and, the, and the, the materials you need. And you could build something like this. I think it wouldn't be too hard to figure out sort of like, because you can measure, for example, right here, you can measure the height and then the width of these different bulkheads. And you could, you could build it. Um, it gets pretty easy down here with the rudder. It's one piece. And it looks like the elevator is also just one solid piece. So that stuff's pretty easy. You can come up with that pretty, pretty easily. Um, the toughest thing, of course, would be a cow, I mean, a, um, would be a canopy if you want to put a canopy. But you could buy an aftermarket canopy. I think Dubrow sells canopies, among other people. And then, you know, if I was going to build it, I probably wouldn't put these, these, these cheeks on here. And I would just leave it just, just straight. And, but you could, you could, you can carve those out of balsa or find some other way of doing it if you really wanted to do that. But, and of course you can buy landing gear. So you really could build this kit from these plans. If you didn't like me, if you didn't have the kit and you wanted to do it. And so that's something to think about. Now, once uh, he told me that he was going to send me these plans, I started doing a little bit of, you know, looking online to see who had built it, if there was videos and yeah, there are, you can go on YouTube and you can type in Excalibur and find this this plane people have built it and they say you know it flies really nice it's a nice flying plane looks like it's pretty fast and probably pretty pretty fun to fly so you know something something to think about all right everybody well you know I just wanted to share that with you I think it's always cool I love looking at um, especially these older plans and the way it was way back in the in the old days if you will I think it's really cool. I really enjoy this. So I really do appreciate um, Dwayne sending me this. And, you know, just, it was really nice of him and can't say enough, but I really do think it's cool. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll these guys up and I'll put them in my stash with my other kits and things that I have. And who knows, maybe, maybe I'll be building this one day. Thanks again, everybody for watching my channel. And I am continuing with the building of the Balsa USA Stingray. I'm going to be posting a video on that pretty soon um, after this one. I'm going to be putting in the, the tail section servos next on that build. But yeah, so anyhow, lots of fun and I appreciate it. Thank, everybody, thank you everybody for the comments. And I've mentioned it before that I really do appreciate the comments because I get a lot of um, insight and tips from people. And there's a lot to learn there. If you go, if you stroll through those comments on these builds and you're kind of following along, you'll see there's all kinds of ideas out there. The way I did something, someone else would do it this way or that way and they put it on there. So it's really good information, kind of real time sort of like learning. So I really do appreciate all that. All right, everybody. So thanks a lot. I hope you're enjoying flying your planes and building your planes and we will see you next time.